This is FTC, and we're going to be doing loser's bracket number 59. This is going to be the semifinals of the loser's bracket, or otherwise known as round 8. On top is my squad, consisting of Keech the Ninja. Again, mostly offense, up close. He can throw some stuff, and he's mostly an item bot when the squad's about to lose. Charlie the Monk, who's there mostly a support in the form of time magic and resurrection, so he can deal damage, as we've seen last round. 12 the Geomancer, who's there mostly for support, though anti sad magging is also one of its nice traits. He's pulled my squad through pretty much a lot of otherwise what would have been lost matches. And Isol the Samurai, who's there to deal damage, to don't act people, and to otherwise be the other main damage dealer on the squad. Okay, then we have Arrow GP squad on bottom. We have Jack the Lancer, who's there to deal massive amounts of damage and be an item bot. Speed save helps with this in both respects in that he jumps more. I mean, his jumps go faster if, if he has more speed, and um, he can be a better item bot if he has more speed. Then we have Ace the Ninja, who is also the other Resurrector attacker on his squad. It, his attack up damage can deal, I think, 325, which is a good deal. He, he also has Abandon to help him survive, because he's a ninja after all, his HP isn't great. Then we have Queen the Summoner, which, has, which, is, a, which is actually a fairly very tanky summoner, actually. And her drawout damage, especially from Kiku, is nothing to laugh at. She's also a very power, fair, fairly powerful healer on this squad as well. And then we have King the Knight, who's there to mostly revive people. He doesn't have any knight skills whatsoever. Okay, onwards to the actual pre-battle analysis. Um, I think I'm going to be completely screwed over in this battle, because if you look at the, main, the two main um, features that most people look at, which is HP and damage, they're both brown, i.e. I think Aero GP has solid advantages in both, because in terms of HP... First of all, just you can just look at his squad and add up the HP for yourself. Um, his HP, he has all of his units are above 300 HP. I have two units barely at, at 300 HP. That should, that should tell you he has an outright HP advantage. It gets worse because because I have because my ninja and my samurai, which are the main attackers in my squad, have worse compat with his entire squad. So I mean, not worse compat, bad compat with his entire squad, which means I won't be able to whittle down his HP the way. I have been able to against other squads. So even though Aero GP only has two healers, it's not that bad of an issue because of bad compact. Also, if you look at damage capacity, this again is something that's that doesn't favor me as much. First of all, my two main damage physical damage dealers, which is which is which is Keech and Isil have like I said, bad compact with the entire enemy squad. Secondly, that Lancer, despite this, can still pull a one-hit KO against 12 because he deals 336 neutral compat to him. While both Keech and Isol will be taking two-thirds of their HP despite having bad compat. Sim some something similar is true against um, that ninja as well on um, against Jack against Ace the Ninja on um, Aero GP's team as well. Simply because his his damage capacity is in the 300s already without any of this. And then, then of course, then you have 192 off of Kiku. In short, I'm just outclassed on damage. Aero GP has one unit capable of dealing 300 damage, another unit capable of dealing 300 damage, and a third unit capable of dealing 192 off Kiku. This is compared, this is at neutral compacts. While my units at neutral compacts have 306, 252, and 220. So, essentially, we're fairly even except that he has two units in the 300s. When you add in compacts, it, it just doesn't measure up, you know. Aero GP has the advantage here. However, Aero GP virtually, except for Counter Flood, doesn't use any status effects. I found this to be kind of strange, because he could have definitely given that Knight um, speed rune for slow, but he, but he doesn't. But, but again, my squad isn't correctly synchronized for haste, and I think this is going to lose me the, la the match against Aero GP, because I can't then outspeed his squad, because our speed averages are very similar. It's only that... um. If I could correctly get haste off, this might be a difference, but because haste doesn't normally resolve correctly, even on a large map, thanks to poor unit synchronization on my part, the only status that I can really use against Aero GP is don't act. And that Samurai's work, bad compass is going to make it hard to don't act anybody. Except perhaps the 75th um, enemy summoner. Then we, then we can look at luck, and again... I have, I have slightly more luck tactics from Don't Act, and from re -Riz and from Mimic Darabon, and from Counter Flood, but considering that Ninja also has Abandon and a Feather Mantle, and has the HP that he does, and that my opponent, and that my opponent's 
aren't entirely in aren't entirely weak against magic thanks to the fact of bad compat, luck isn't gonna be as big a factor as it is normally for my squad. In terms of synchronization, yeah that 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 bad heat synchronization is bad, but I feel like on a big map it, it might be overcome by the fact that Aero GP has 6 6 4 3 movement, and the knight who's going to be, as we saw against ZX Project, is going to be wasting a lot of his time doing nothing. So, and I think, and of course, having raise 2 on a knight with defense up rather than short charge doesn't help when I have fees in both, but that assumes my samurai can stay up. So, again, the synchronization problems weigh against my opponent, but they're not as heavy as they look. In terms of AI, well, the only AI problems I see is that because, as, as this was pointed out, against his magic, I think against Diagnon, um, AeroGP's ninja can't heal himself despite having punch art. He doesn't have chakra. Similarly, that summoner doesn't have fairy. These two things might cause the AI to do fairly retarded actions, which could harm AeroGP if he ever is down a few men. But against my squad, I don't think I can actually punch through his damage through his tanking thanks to bad compat but let's see what actually happens the first match is going to be on a on an uneven terrain map which is going to make it even worse for me to heal my own squad it's orban monastery map number 56 okay arrow gp in the red my squad in the green my ninja goes first and throws something at bad compat and and to bad compat and defense up so so it's actually equivalent to worse compat damage Okay, my ninja takes damage, but he gets dragon spirited. I think after that... Okay, so haste is attempted to be resolved on two units. Hopefully, Keech will be able to double turn some people. But I don't think he's going to survive this. That and the end throw from the enemy lancer. I mean, jump from the enemy lancer. Though if haste goes off, no, he won't. That's a revenge kill. So pretty much only one unit's been hasted, and I'm already on the defensive. Summoner takes damage, but damage splits it. Keech's turn. And he tries to don't act the enemy Lancer, and it works. Okay, so one very powerful unit's been disabled for now. But that but what ISIL's asking to get mid-charged. There's no question about that. And that's just stupid. Okay, so I'm down another unit again, and don't act's about to be removed. Though that's a perfect earth slash target. It won't take out take out either unit. Counter Flood, but it's considerably less than what he took in terms of damage. And Isil's brought back up, but I don't think it matters unless I can score a decisive KO. Okay, the Summoner's taken down. This forces the Lancer to sandbag rather than attack. But the, but the Monk is KO'd. Okay. And because of the uneven terrain, I can't KO all the entire enemy squad. I can only KO one or two units. So, so Geomancy is not as effective as it normally is. And Keech decides to spend time healing the monk rather than going on offense. He could have killed that ninja, I think. And Rave 2 brings back the summoner. Okay, so offense turn for Arrow GP. I lose two units. And I think Arrow GP has this one. And remember, this is the big map, where normally I might be able to exploit his poor movement. I don't think I'm going to do any better on the next one. So, a, an attempt at don't act, but that's through 50 faith and bad compat. I don't think it's going to go off. Nope. Pretty much, that ninja can't survive another hit from, from Jack. And he gets taken down. And so will Iso, I think. Yep. So we're now just one very wounded Geomancer trying to trying to hang on. And Mimic Darvon puts the Lancer to sleep, but he needed at least two units of sleep for this to work. And Kiku finishes him. Okay, so congrats Arrow GP, you win round one. FTC, we're gonna be doing losers bracket number fifty-nine, otherwise known as the semifinals of the losers bracket between my squad and, and um Arrow GP. This is round two. Arrow GP won round one simply by curb stomping my squad. Um, my squad was forced into sandbagging for pretty much the entire round. Um, and, the, and the uneven terrain made it so Geomancy couldn't deal splash damage, and poor Compat made it so I couldn't really deal damage to his squad. 
while his squad's higher damage capacity and HP tanking showed his worth. Let's see what happens on map number 98, outside Castle Gate, Lasalia. This, I think, is where he faced off against Aero GP last time. So let's see what happens. I mean, ZX Project last time. Wow, I'm really screwing up my names. And immediately, my ninja's KO'd. This can't be good. And, they're, and, they're, and the remaining units are perfectly walking key crew targets. Okay, the Lancers don't act it, but that's a key crew target, just waiting, just waiting to get KO'd. Yep, and my ninja's brought down again. King the Knight isn't doing anything, so it's essentially a 3 on 2 right now, but I don't think Arrow GP is really at a disadvantage. Oh wow, a missed attack, so my monk survives to live another day, but all he's going to do with that is um, nothing, in fact, because... He has to heal himself first. So Keech is going to spend another turn on the floor. 12 goes for another don't act, and it works. So we're rotating the number of units who aren't attacking. But, and because of bad compat, that, that queen doesn't go down, and instead now just uses Murasame, and has some time to damage split, which means I think my, lan my Lancer's going... I mean, yeah, my, my, my uh, Samurai's going to go down too, so... I'm already at a huge disadvantage simply because, well, don't act isn't sticking, and my units are getting KO'd. Oh, and a petrify proc, but it doesn't matter because Esuna is going to get rid of both, and Kiku drops both targets. Okay. Yeah, I think this is over. Okay, congrats, Aero GP. You'll be advancing to the loser's bracket finals. Um, <laughs> I, my squad's been eliminated.